This uh, moisture flow is going to continue to feed the ongoing threat of scattered shower activity literally for all areas of Oregon and Washington. So no matter where you go, you're going to find similar weather. We've got where you see the bright colors and yellow. It's, uh, right now it's dry in Eugene. It's dry in Salem. There's a heavy shower north of Astoria. This heavy shower has been working its way down uh, through Columbia County and Highway 30 right there. That's going to continue to work down toward it looks like the Delta Park area and, and across the Columbia River here in the you know, coming just a little bit of time. Future cast 1030 this morning. This is what we have right now. Some, well, we don't have sun breaks yet because sun's not up. But <laughs> we will get sun breaks and we'll have scattered shower activity and it will be snow showers as low as about 4,000 feet up over the Cascades. Government camp has been holding near freezing this morning. Highway 26 is clean and they'll be above freezing during the day. So I really don't think daytime travel over the Cascade passes are going to be an issue, but uh, if showers keep going for a good bit overnight tonight, those temperatures will be falling and there could be some icy roads by early Sunday morning for you. This is 9 p.m. tonight. Just keeps the shower threat al alive. Uh, all of the precipitation is expected to end overnight tonight. This is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So we start off dry and we stay dry all day. So Sunday's forecast still dry, generally partly cloudy skies expected. The next uh, rainmaker comes in just like that, though, first thing early Monday morning. We showed you Newport. Here's a haystack rock from our Cannon Beach live cam. It is 48 degrees overcast. You can see the the sand is all wet from rain and there's our shot. We've centered the camera on Timberline. That's a postcard moment. First snowfall of the season. You know, often, often we get these one, two, three inch snowfalls at some point in September. And then of course they melt away, but we haven't had that yet this year. So it's the first one, two inches on the ground up there. They've been reporting a temperature of 28 degrees at the lodge. They could pick up a few more. So maybe they end up with, you know, four or five inches on the ground by dinner time tonight. Here's uh, the Oregon Veterans Home camera out in the Dalles. Overcast with some brightness starting to show up. You folks out in the gorge will see west winds today in Wasco County. It could be some afternoon gusts as high as 40. Hood River Valley expect to see west winds to about 30. We are generally in the 40s. Pearson Airfield up in Vancouver is at 50, but Salem's 45. Well, Corvallis is setting at 50 degrees right now. Other temperatures, 49 in Astoria, 37 in Bend. It looks to be the cool spot on the map and forecast numbers for you over at the coast. We'll be in the 50s here. Northwest breezes, mainly breezy near heavy showers, no matter where you are today. 57 in Salem. Again, all these numbers are pretty similar, including out in the Columbia River Gorge. There's Hood River at 51 degrees. Real quick, uh, 40s out east, 50s on the west side. Big story on the seven days, dry weather tomorrow with a high of 60. We'll be back on a Saturday morning in just a moment.